All right, so today I'm going to just kind of go through some club stuff. Um, for those of you who haven't really, or just getting started in this game or don't really know, um, club battle is a, a battle where you, you join a club and you kind of um, go against other clubs. And I think the game rates you based off of your your overall and what level you are as a group and um, how you guys are doing too. So this is our club. It's a Punisher's 13 right now. Uh, I was the, the vice manager or whatever, but I don't know what happened. Like two weeks ago, I lost my, my stuff, so I can't add these missions. Um, let me see, see the mission list. Mission list right here. I used to be able to add them. We, you could do four at a time. Uh, the best ones to do are club check-in. Those ones are always easy to meet. Win, win 100 club battles. The strikeouts, 1,000 strikeouts. And then th that's a seven-day mission. And then, um, then you do the same ones for the, the 14 days. So the check-in, the win one, the strikeout one, those ones are the easiest ones to meet. Uh, I recommend using those often home runs. Sometimes you could get those ones too, or at least our club. Uh, if you have a legit club, you know, maybe, maybe you can get those on a regular basis, but people have to play daily, uh, during this club. if you look in club information, you can see when people <clears throat> logged in the last time they logged in, like this guy six days ago. So obviously he's not doing his, his job for the club. Uh, not all the time. And then the guy right there four days ago, one day ago. So it's not bad to have them because sometimes, you know, if they're in the 90s or 100, um, they still take on bad. They still win battles for you. Uh, it looks like we, we already lost one one member since uh, the league manager or whatever. He has not been adding the missions. So we're not gaining extra points. All right, club challenge. This is uh, where you play against some team uh, that the game's put together. Uh, let's see if I can see what this team... So this is all signature Houston Astros. So they're rated 114 overall. It's a pretty good pretty good team right there. Um, sometimes you'll get a win, sometimes you won't. Uh, but either way, you play it just so you get the points. And at the end of the week, you're going to want to... Um, you're you're going to want to go collect your rewards on Sunday. Uh, I always like to... Add some some gear cards. Uh, just leave it on there. Just do random ones right here. I don't care too much. Just helps helps your team win these matches. Uh, club store. This is where you can purchase the items from the club the club coins you have. Right now I have seventeen hundred as you see at the top. Uh, let me move this over. So seventeen hundred. Uh, hit or club coins 1718 uh these these great increase reset tickets they're really good um they start out at a thousand but once you get to your club gets to a certain level what happens is you will uh get a 10 percent discount so they're right now they're 900 and all the other packs are 10 percent off too so the premium vintage player was 500 now it's 450 team selective 360 was 400 Skill training, 200, now 180, and premium pack, 90. Uh, what else is in here? So you could obviously look up your stats, match records, all that stuff. I don't really care too much about that, um, especially when you're just grinding. Uh, then you got your club battle. This is where you're battling the other other clubs. What I'll do is I go in here with my, um, my better team, which is the Padres, and I come in here and, and I'll play some of these matches and test these teams out a little bit. If they're ranked high, you get more points, but usually the team is better too. So what you want to do is you want to go after teams that you know you can beat because you get more points that way. You get more club coins and your team, uh, you know, gets closer to getting a victory and getting more points at the end of a two week period. So you collect your rewards every two weeks <clears throat> on Sunday. Um, I think it ends this Sunday is when, when we'll get it. Let me see another thing with this. Oh, so club crafting. <clears throat> club crafting, as your club starts getting going through and, and advancing, I'll show you what, what that looks like. You get these different 
um, club crafting opportunities. So gold gear is the first one, then diamond gear. I don't ever use these ones because, you know, you get gold gear packs often. And I don't want to waste other stuff. The diamond one's pretty cool. But then again, you only get a little bit of those. So it's not really worth it to me. But that's, it's, to each, it's up to each individual what you want to do with it. These are really cool. These team selective pitcher batter diamond packs. You have to get a thousand club coins and you can only get these uh, once every two weeks. So you have to have a diamond pack in your thing, in your inventory, and you also have a team, have to have a team selective. The good thing about this is it's easier to get, you know, diamond players for the team that you have so that you get those set decks. Uh, team signature pack. This is the one I'm working towards right now with my Padres team. I'm about four or 500 hit, uh, club coins away. And then you need to uh, use two signature cards, 4,000 club coins, and what you get is a team signature pack, um, which you can get a silver, gold, or diamond, so you're probably going to get a silver out of it. But you can upgrade and turn them into a diamond if you, if you get to that point, or at least turn them into a gold. You just have to have the grade increase ticket. Um, that's how I got my Fred McGriff on the Padres, which is really cool. So this is a level seven. Um, this one's for a free agent ticket, a premium free agent ticket. Those premium free agent tickets, they, uh, it's not a guaranteed up guaranteed that you get a free agent from it. But what you do is you get, um, it, it automatically increases that bar. Watch, let me show you what that looks like. So you go to the store, you go to free agents. So when you, when you use the ticket, it automatically increases. I don't want to use it on any of these guys. Um, let's see what it, so there's the bar right there, that blue line. Every time you use a premium one, it automatically increases, I think 10%. So as that bar gets closer to the end, you're more likely to get that free agent. So on well, my other team, I have several of these, these free agent tickets saved up. And I'm close to the end, so I'm waiting for the, the time that we might get those premium players running through. It's a pretty good George Springer right there. I'm sure that's going to go for a pretty penny. I've already wasted all my stars in this one. Uh, I'm not going to waste any on that. Um, all right, so Clubhouse. Uh, you got your overall, when people logged in, team name. You'll see the gold crown. That's the... That's the uh, manager of the club with the club president and we need to get a, a vice president in this club uh you see level six and you see where the blue bar is at we're close to getting to level seven but even though it looks like a little amount as you know in this game or as you find out if you don't know the closer you the higher level you are the longer it takes to get to the get that blue bar filled up so level one two three are pretty you know they're fairly quick the other ones um takes a little more time. All right, so I'm going to do some club battles. I played this team earlier, and I won, I think, 12 to 1. So we'll see if we will see if uh, I can win again. So they got a Granky Prime. It's pretty cool. They're the Giants, so let's see how many Giant players they have. I don't even see any Giant players so far. So it's always best if you are the team that you have the most players on. So what that was happening is I, I forgot what, what team I started out with. This is my son's team. Um, I think it was Astros. And, you know, you, you start getting player packs, diamond packs, start opening them, premium packs. And then you kind of feel um, what you're getting, you know. Like I had a Boston team that was getting – um predominantly astros and so what i what i did is end up paying a thousand coin or a thousand stars at one point and when it's double double reward for uh mileage i paid a thousand coins and or stars and changed my team to the astros because i already had a bunch of them you want as many of those players <clears throat> on your team as possible because that that increases their stats when they they're in you know, the lineup or even as backup players. All right, so you see I got 120 
kind of uh, star points for our, our team, uh, our club. And then I got 12 uh, club points. So these things uh, add up pretty quick. Um, and you could get some good items in there. Those grade increase level reset tickets. Uh, if your player is, um, it could range for anywhere from a 60 to a 75. And I can show you what that looks like in a minute. 60 to 75, then, and, and your player is, you know, they're, they're a solid player. Like they're, they're starting out at, you know, maybe a 72 or whatever. Then they get like a 63 or 62. What you can do is you can go in there and use these grade increase reset tickets. Let's look at the lineup real quick. Um, so you look at their, their stats right here. So the first line is what they start out at 64. Your grade increase is 72 and that's, that's what you're looking at. So if it's at a, a low 60s and you use one of these tickets, most likely you're going to go up and you can go up to 75. So, um, if your card is at a 60, it's going to be guaranteed to go up and it can go up to 75. If you go up to a 75, that's a 15, 15 points. And then there's five categories. So 15 points, your card's going to go up three. So if it was a 104 and your grade increase is 60, after you, um, upgrade them or get them to the grade increase to 75 this card could potentially be a one 107 right here so that's kind of how that stuff works all right so so far i won three matches going against if you go against the higher starred teams like i said they're more challenging but you also get more rewards more coins from that so I highly recommend if you have a solid team, then going after the ones, you know, the ones that you can beat. If you, if you look and you wait a little bit in the day and you see your, your other club members that are around the same rank as you or level, if you see them beating players like that are three stars and two stars, I highly recommend going after them. You know, if um, you see that they're barely winning, then, and you can see that on the right over here, if you look on the right, you can see what the scores were and everything. But if they're barely beating them, then you want to you want to be a little more cautious. Maybe use uh, some condition drinks. So let's go. This is the last one, so I'll go ahead and use some condition drinks. And then you it, it, your pitching goes in order. Your starting pitching. So it's, if it's the fifth star, it's the fifth pitcher. So we'll go ahead and see what this does. So if you win five of if you win all five of your matches. You get bonus points too. So hopefully we see that right here. Um, I didn't do it with my other teams earlier, but then again, I was trying out some of the, just starting it out for everybody to see where we land. All right, I got to start scoring on these guys. There we go. Yeah, they have some gold players in here. But what are they, the Astros too? Yeah. That Andrew Jones is my favorite card. It's pretty good. Very powerful. Um, great in arcade mode. Gets a lot of home runs. All right, so one five times with an outstanding performance. Uh, for doing that, you get some extra stars. So that is good. Um, that, in a nutshell, is club battle, you know. A um, lot of rewards in here. Club store. I recommend going through and, you know, especially as you're building your team, you can buy some of these packs that will, will help your team out, help your team grow. And then as, as your team starts, you know, you start getting the cards you want, but you need to change and do the grade increase reset tickets, grab those. Um, and, and that'll definitely help your team. All right. Have a good one.